What is good everyone? I'm Forrest Walker and hello from Yerevan, Armenia. Now I'm going to be doing a lot of different series here and for this one I'm going to go with a simple but popular premise called Behind the Photo where I select a photo from my archive, one of my more known photos, and give you a what, when, why, where, and how behind the photo and a few details behind it too. So we're going to start off the first installment of this with this photo right here, the London Fields goalie. I made this photo in London, England in the UK at London Fields, a park there in Hackney. It was back in 2016, August 15th. This was back when I was first starting the major city work. This was major city number 31 on that project. And for those of you that like to know the stats, I shot this photo at 1 1,000th of a second, which is a little faster than I usually shoot. I usually am around 1 500th, but because I wanted to freeze the ball, I didn't want it to be too blurry, I shot it a little faster. Now we didn't have a ton of light there because there's a lot of trees around and it is London. So I had the ISO at 2000, which is a little higher than I usually like, but I didn't want to go lower than F8. So that's how I got the exposure I wanted on this shot. And I shot this with the 18 millimeter lens, which is the lens I use around 80% of the time. And that's not full frame, so 27 millimeter equivalent. So that's the when and where and the stats in this photo. Now let's get more into the content of the image and what is happening here. Well, I'm gonna give a little more detail than you can see, but obviously there's an older woman there. She looks like she's probably a grandma age. She has a floral, long floral dress there, gray hair, sandals, and she's in a full goalie stance there playing soccer or football, depending where you're from. And that soccer ball is frozen right there in front of her head, but that ball is obviously gonna go right past her as her eyes aren't even set on it, and her stance is in a completely different direction. To the left, you see the leg and the hand in there from the person that just kicked the ball. That was a younger boy, likely her grandson. And this is all inside a cage there. You can see the park and the grass and trees behind. So all that you can tell from looking at the photo, but a little more detail behind what was happening. It was a grandma and her grandson. They were taking turns playing goalie and kicker. She actually did kick too. And it was just a really fun scene. Now, how I made this photo? Well, I was in Hackney in London. I was covering London there on the major city work. And it was towards the end of my trip there. I had really liked Hackney when I had been there previously has a lot of character and I also like London Fields the huge park there and so I decided to go back and I, I photographed around Hackney and then I went to London Fields but it was much more quiet on this day a lot of people like to barbecue out there and things like that but there wasn't a lot of people out there when I was there so I was getting ready to go catch the metro or the tube back and then I saw this scene this large cage and inside there was you know, a soccer or football field in there. And there was just an older woman and her, what looked to be her grandson in there. And it just stopped me in my tracks. It wasn't a scene I've ever seen it before or since. And just seeing her in this long floral dress like that and just playing goalie and actually really being into it. So I couldn't pass the scene up and I didn't want to just photograph it through the cage. So I had to get in there, but I knew if I went in there, no one else was in there. How was I going to be able to take a, at least a somewhat of a candid photo of this happening? On this project, one of the, my main focuses was to make sure everything was completely unposed, where I didn't even talk to the people before. I wanted it to be as natural as possible. For other projects and for other photographers, it is sometimes nice to interact first and then maybe wait until you can get a somewhat of a candid shot but I wanted it to be as candid as possible. I have no problem interacting with people or strangers, but even once you interact, I still feel like you lose some of that candid nature in the photo. So I just went right into the gated door, went right up and started taking photos. I smiled, of course, but other than that, I didn't say anything. And she did look over and I think she said something about to her grandson. Uh, he, I guess he thinks this is interesting or something like that. And that was it. So once I just went in their approach confidently, but friendly, that's all it really took. And then I just started taking, took quite a few photos in there because they were taking turns where she was kicking too, which I got a couple good photos of that. But the thing was when she was kicking, the boy who was playing the goalie, he was on center stage and he was the focus of the photo and nothing against him, but she was just much more interesting and unique to me. So I preferred her playing goalie, facing the camera and being the focus of the photo. So I took a lot more shots of this scene. And because I had the opportunity to take multiple photos, I tried different angles and doing different things. I tried putting him more in the scene, but I didn't like his back. And I also thought it took away from her, but I didn't want to lose him completely. And I also, I wanted it to be a moment, but I still wanted it to be a little bit of mystery there and a little humorous and fun. 
So I took this shot where his legs and his arm were just in there. Adds a little bit of mystery. It's, it's interesting to me, but it really still points it right at her. And for each photo, I was also trying to time it right when that ball was coming midair right at her. So now on to the why, why I like this photo. Well, there's a few reasons and a few reasons why I chose this photo out of all the different photos I took of this scene. Number one, I really like her stance there and I really like the placement of the ball being right in front of her face but not overlapping it. So it brings focus to both the ball and her face and then you see her eyes there are not looking at the ball at all. Even though she's in that stance, her eyes and her stance are focused on a completely different direction. So that adds some humor to me because you know that ball is about to go right by her. There was a couple other photos that I liked her too where she actually was making a, a stronger play on the ball and she had more expression in the face, but it still lost the stance and the humor of it for me a little bit. And then also I like the placement of the boy's arms and legs in this one were some where he was fully in it but then it took away too much focus from the grandma onto the boy. And then also really why I love this photo though is because at the top of my list of things I look for in my photos or even other photos are unique scenes, scenes that can't be copied. They catch something that's unique that you haven't seen before. And I've never seen a scene like this before, exactly like this, and I haven't seen one since. So I really like that. I like the humor. I like the little bit of mystery. It's a fun scene for me, but also there is a little bit of a moment there. There's family. There's a lot of different things going on in this photo. And it's just a fun photo for me, but it has some content and it has uniqueness. So those are the things I really like. It's one of those scenes that you're always searching for that just stop you and, and just show how interesting the moments from day to day life can be. And I knew I had to take a photo of it and luckily I got something out of it. So that's all about that photo. Some people ask me if she ever stopped any of the goals and she did have a couple saves. So that brings us to the end of the first behind the photo. I'm gonna do more of these so you can check them out on Patreon, link below. But any specific photos you wanna have me do on behind the photo, just tell me. Most of them I'll do. There might be a few that I might keep secret about what's really happening, the ones that are really about mystery. But for the most part, I'd love to hear which photos you'd like to know more about and I'll try to make a video on them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Cheers.